Coming up on a year since the U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan, sending refugees all over the globe, including right here in Northwest Ohio. And tonight, one military veteran is looking back on America's decision to leave. Chase Bachman joins us live in studio tonight. So, Chase, what is he saying about this anniversary? Well, Jeff and Mel, we spoke with veterans last year after the U.S.'s decision to leave. They said it was the right thing to do then, and one of them is sticking to it tonight. I'm glad that we're not seeing headlines of, of you know, U.S. servicemen and women, uh, you know, dying over there, getting blown up in roadside bombs with IEDs or, or whatever else. Like those headlines aren't coming across our TVs anymore. And that's the most important thing to me. Former U.S. Army Sergeant Dave Gedman served three tours overseas, including one in Afghanistan in 2008. He says the country is much more tribal than the United States, making long term stability much harder. The Afghan people, you know, they've got their tribes and they've got their small areas. And I think f for them to unite as a country is much more difficult than it would be for us. Since we spoke with Gedman in July, the U.S. withdrew from Afghanistan ahead of schedule, followed closely behind by the Taliban, who quickly reclaimed power. The scenes played out on TV. Millions of Afghan refugees fled the country for safety, where the military evacuated all personnel in a matter of weeks. When you go into these places with, with no, I mean, open, with like an open-ended kind of no goal, they couldn't unite as well against a, a force like the Taliban. Gedman says the withdrawal should serve as a reminder that the U.S. can't serve as world's police, especially when the objective isn't clear. It absolutely wasn't a perfect withdrawal. I don't think anybody will argue that. Nobody thought that they would fold that quickly. Gedman says that America ultimately fought two wars in the Middle East and gained little while sacrificing thousands of American lives. I, I think we tried to dip our hands in, in too many different baskets and, and we got bit. Um, so I think that's the biggest lesson that the U.S. government can learn. The Afghan embassy's website estimates there are as many as 200 Americans still in the country looking for a way to get out. Reporting live in studio tonight, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.